In the following video series, we're going to examine how to graph exponential growth functions. And so we first need to start off by examining the parent function of an exponential growth. And so the parent function is f of x equals b to the x. We see here it says b has to be greater than 1. This is what tells us that we're dealing with growth. Our domain is all real numbers, which means when it comes to your exponent of x, you can choose any x value that's a real number. Our domain is all real. Now your range for the parent function is all non-zero real numbers, which means your y value has to be greater than zero. And so now if we take a look at this graph, we can see it's an exponential growth, it's increasing from left to right. And you see first it's increasing slower, then it's increasing faster and faster and faster. We see some important points. We see the coordinate one comma b, what our base is. We see the coordinate zero comma one and negative one over one over b. What's important to note is your asymptote. This is a new concept that is a line that your graph approaches but never touches. And so what we see here, this will increase forever vertically because we can choose any x value on our x-axis. That's what our domain tells us. But as we go to the left from this, what we see is this line is approaching the x-axis. We actually have what is called an asymptote. y equals 0 is the equation for the x-axis, where our graph approaches it but will never touch it, will never cross it. And so this is what the parent function of exponential growth looks like. Let's look at an example. We have y equals 4 to the x. We're asked to sketch the graph and then state the domain of this exponential growth function. Right off the bat, I know it's growth because my base is 4. And since 4 is greater than 1, I know I'm dealing with an exponential growth function. Well, then how do we create our table of values? What we need to do to create our table of values is plug in our negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 in for our x in the equation. So really, this is going to be 4 to the negative second power. This is going to be 4 to the negative first power, 4 to the 0 power, 4 to the first, and 4 squared. Well, I'm going to start with the easy ones. I know 4 squared is 16. I know 4 to the first is 4. Anything to the 0 power is 1. Now remember, a negative exponent means you flip and put make the exponent positive. So 1 over 4 to the first is 1 fourth. 1 over 4 to the second is 1 sixteenth. And now we're going to plot these points on our graph. And so we make our table of values, and then we're going to plot the points and connect them. So the easy ones to plot is we're at 0, 1. We are at 1 all the way up to 4. And when I'm at 2, I'm way up to 16, which is off of this graph. So I'm going to put a dot up here just so I can see where my curve will go. When I'm at negative 1, I'm at 1 fourth. So I'm going to estimate where 1 fourth is. Then you're at 1 16th. And what's going to happen is you're going to get closer and closer and closer to this x-axis, but never cross it, never touch it. And so now we connect with our curve. And so we see I'm going to start at 0, 1. I'm increasing vertically. I'm not going to cross this x equals 2 on this visual grid because the point's way up here. So I'm going to pretend like I'm going to connect to that point. Then when I go to the left, I don't want to cross the x-axis. So I'm just going to come across and kind of get closer and closer and closer to it without actually crossing it. And there's my graph of my exponential function. My domain, all real numbers. That's a gimme. When dealing with exponential functions, your x values are all real numbers. Your range describes the y. Here, our graph will never cross the x-axis. It will never cross the equation y equals 0. So y has to be greater than 0, all the positive numbers. 
And so that's an exponential growth. The way you do it is you create a table of values. And then you plot the points with a curve. Plot the points and connect with a smooth curve. What you're going to have to realize is the table of values is the most important because you're not going to be able to plot all the points. Exponential growth is increasing fast. And so you see 16th, you know, you do 4 to the third power, it's going to be all the way up to 64 when x is 3. And so we're not going to be able to see all the points on the graph. You're not going to be able to plot six points on the graph. So that's why the table is important so we can at least see where they would be located. So that is an example of an exponential growth function.